Oh yeah, another cloudy, muggy, hot one today. We had a few storms roll through this morning. It's been crazy weather. We have gotten a lot of rain this year, but I'm not gonna complain. Except the grass grows too fast. Other than that, I cut the uh, grass with the farmer, so it does take a little while. But I'm not gonna talk about that today. What's going on? How's it going, Mark Freeman Four Eight? If you haven't subscribed or commented or pressed notifications, fire those up. Uh, Jay's down the track. We're going to do a little bit of weed eating today, but he got a new lift for his truck. Lift and tires, and he just bought rims today. I don't think the rims are on yet, but they'll be on soon, so we'll check that out. And we're going to blow up the Honda engine today with Coca-Cola. So I picked some up over there. That's my tailgate set there. But before we get started, I just wanted to show you. Sorry for the mess in the garage. It's on the list to clean up, but, you know. The list is never going to get done. So Olight has sent us more lights. As you can see, we have a ton here. So we have the Mini 2 Ti Limited Edition. That one's pretty cool. I already opened this one up. Uh, big fan of this light. It has two buttons. So this one obviously just turns it on. And then the front one or the side one you can use to turn on as well. And then triple click for strobe or all the different powers. So I believe there's four different powers plus strobe. And it is super bright let me let me do it over here where it's a little darker there's a creepy stairwell so as you can see it is quite bright that's the dim mode medium high yeah so that's how you blind yourself just stare at that light anyways check them out they have a massive sale august 30th so i believe that's tomorrow whenever this video gets posted uh, up to 40 percent off and lots of gifts so there's also a pen light Pretty neat. And then uh, these mini little keychain lights. Look how small that is. Size of my finger. Well, half size of my finger. But uh, I don't know how you turn it on. You get twisted or something? Let me figure this out. Need two hands. Uh, there you go. Yeah. Pretty good for a tiny little light, eh? Anyways. Let's head down the track and have some fun. Go check out Jay's new truck. Anyone want to clean out the garage? There's some assassinators for you. Street Legal Maverick, it's for sale, or or you can rent it. I'm just switching some stuff over right now. So it's registered as a motorcycle. So try and register it as a car. I don't know why they registered it as a motorcycle. Silly, but yeah. Then we can mount these assassinators in the mud. And you got the 60. I got the... The flexible. 20. See, that's all I need is the 20. Yeah, I, just, I don't know. It just showed up one day. I was just saying, this, I think, is a 14-inch model. Oh, yeah. I don't know what measure from, but... 10 inches a lot if you don't have it. Is this fire still going? It's still going. Oh, oh my God. That. So, it is currently Wednesday. We had a party on Saturday. And this fire is still going. Wow. So it was all like skids and boxes and crappy wood over there. And then we had all this hardwood over here. And uh, by the time, by like 2 a.m., it was just starting to reach all the hardwood. And in the morning, like it was still just lighting up. And that was Saturday. Wow. So, as, fire. yeah, it was a hell of a fire. And we killed all the weeds. Cool. But no, there was no weed fires, thank God. So. Right. Yeah, I know. Look at the freaking pile of ash. That is wild. Yeah, I can't believe this is still burning. That's good fertilizer, eh? Ashes? Is it? Really good for, for fertilizer. Ten bucks a pound, they'll sell it to you. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to walk through here with a magnet. Look at all these little metal clips. and Apparently there were some rims in here. I didn't even know that. Those might have been from the last year's fire. People were a little... Having too much fun and throwing tires in here. Anyways, let's see that weed eater go, Jay. All right, right now? Yeah. I got my safety pants on. Yeah, I got my safety shorts on with some freshy, freshy Scott's uh, socks, and I got my freshy steel shirt. Are we gonna do a compare video? Okay, we can. All right. What about trimming? I don't know. Trim this. Yeah. 
just firing stuff at me. This is in low gear too. Oh right, I only run mine in high because I like to burn batteries. Low, right. I, that's all I run in low. All right, try mine. Okay, works good. I like it. Yeah, it's it's very handy yeah, see, compared like compared to my bigger. cheap ass piece of crap that I won in a golf tournament last year. Yeah, see the difference. Be careful, she might rip your arm off. Oh yeah, a little bigger. Like what kind of guard is that? Yeah, it's for your toes. You're in high. High and let her fly. Okay, let's see. <laughs> She's aggressive, eh? No, I know they're pretty quiet. Yeah, oh yeah. It's insanely quiet. Yeah, for how big it is. I like it. It's a little heavy with the uh, 60 volt on the back, but you know, it's good for your arms. You work it. I, I just rotate back and forth. Could move your handle down a bit, but. I don't, well, I actually tried to put it down there, and then I realized it screwed up, and it goes up there. Yeah. So mine, I have mine <sighs> as low as I can get it. I thought we were gonna do a little little truck tour today. You're gonna show it's us. Not your done new... yet. It's not done yet. Well, we can still do a walk around a lift cut. Okay, when we come back. I told the people, oh, and yeah. we're gonna blow up the Honda today with Coca Cola. Ooh. But everything's up at the house, huh. so we'll have to Go back do some here. trimming, and then I'll grab the truck later because I drove this time. And it's so clean, I even put tire shine on it. Because I'm going to rent it out. <laughs> Why well, you put, I guess, yeah. Street have to make it, legal now. Yeah, street like legal. Look at that blue plate. Only one in Ontario. All right, let's go trim some stuff. Okay. Jesus. You're going to have to get a ladder for this thing, Jay. <laughs> go ahead, climb up there. I didn't expect it to be this tall, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, how big a lift? They call it three and a three and a half uh, level kit. You can't even look over the side anymore. Right, like <laughs> they were big. They were big to begin with. Three and a half inch. Well, plus how big are the tires? So they're like three inches bigger than my stock ones. So it's basically a six like inch. An inch and a half. So it's six inches higher. Yeah, and I think they have a one inch block at the back, and then I put airbags too. Yeah, yeah, have you tested them? Oh, yeah, yet? they work awesome. Now you gotta get a fifth wheel. Well, that's you got a fifth wheel truck, can't, can't be getting a bumper pull. No, it's uh, that's in the plans for uh, yeah. next year, year after. Sweet, so I thought I could run the big tires on my stock rims. Yeah, turns out you can't. Well, you are running them, but you said know, they, they do rub, it rubs. So when I full turn, it rubs in here on this, and you can see down there. Oh, the yeah, frame. yeah, okay. So, I bought some rims this morning. Nice. I should be in by next week. End so of next week. Once those are on, we'll do another video. Yeah. Yeah, man. Other than that, looks good. Looks mean. So I did that, and I got the cold air intake. And I've been waiting on exhaust from MBRP for like 18 months now. Oh, yeah. Apparently, Cla they had no pipe. Classic. Out of pipe. Classic MBRP. So, that's basically all I got left is the rims and uh, exhaust. Sweet. So, if anyone sees you coming down the road, Big truck with the black tube front and the red hooks. Yeah. Flag them down. Flag me down. They'll give you a high five. Yeah. Maybe take a picture with you. Yeah. Woo. So it's coming along. Sweet. Well, let's. Uh, we'll go grab that stuff from the house and uh, drain the oil out of the old Equinox there and see if we can blow it up. You want to see the airbag? Sure. Thank God you got those electric steps. Yeah, they're nice. They're actually really slow. I don't know why, but. Like to go back up? No, like to come down. Like watch. Oh yeah. Stocky, stocky parts. Yeah, yeah mine, mine goes slow too. So you can set Mr. Remote, eh? So you can set three different trailers. Okay. So you can just go one or two or three. So apparently you have to have at least five pounds in the bags. So I'm at ten now. So let's go to, I don't know, twenty-five. Back end blows up. Oops. Now it's pumping. We're at 15. Is this wireless charging too or? No. Just a couple batteries. Actually, I don't know. I don't even know. I literally just got it yesterday, so. Sweet. Well, we're at 25. And, and then it'll stop. 
And then how do you go back down? Just go back down till 10. I had them at 10. And they'll deflate till 10. Yeah. Fancy dancy do. So I, I hate the rake when they come like this. But I want it level. I also want to pull a trailer. So airbags. Everyone's going to be flashing and now your headlights are going to be so bright. I think bright. they adjusted them. Oh, did they? I'm hoping so. It'll never be perfect though. No. So yeah. Sweet. Well, it looks good. Thanks. It's getting there. Should I lift the Maverick? You should just jack the Maverick right up. <laughs> Actually, I don't suggest it. So I'm debating on building a bounty hole down here. What do you guys think? I'm thinking if I did, I would basically have the start right here. And then it would go right beside the whip section there. In between the jumps. Yeah, well, we can always move this jump over. But, like, there's plenty of room in there, so. But, yeah, reason why is because this area always kind of stays moist anyway because it's kind of level. Uh, like, all the water comes off that hill. So, yeah, basically this would be the start. And then just straight up here. I don't know how far we'd go. Maybe to the end of the uh, jump there. A couple hundred feet. What do you think, Jay? Oh, yeah, four feet. Be a lot of rock picking. We'd have to go through it 20 times to get all the rocks out. But. I was going to take the lift kit off my machine. Maybe I'll wait. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, everyone's been bugging me. No one really has a bounty hole around here. And, you know, it'd, it'd be good for content. Then people would come and want to go mud in here. So. And we'd make her sloppy. This dirt is very, what do you call it, very dense. Because yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, well, it's all the dirt that's basically washed, washed down from down. the hill. So there's... Not really many rocks in here to begin with, besides that one. But yeah, it's very, very nice dirt in this level area, so. That's uh, nice dirt though, like it packs nice. Yeah, so we'll see. Let me know in the comments, see what we should do. Also let us know if we should take Chase truck mud. No. <laughs> All right, let's go blow up that Equinox. Hi. <laughs> Marcus has got some good air time on this one. That was pretty wild, right? Jumping backwards, I was, uh, I was quite impressed. See, Brad can learn a thing or two from Marcus. When you jump backwards, you don't wreck as much. When you jump forwards, you blow the rat out instantly, and then, yeah, you're stuck with a car that overheats within two minutes. So, yeah, but see, Marcus, Brad, take notes. Marcus and them have nothing to lose. Right? <laughs> they got no kids. Yeah, look how many times Brad's jumped just I by know. accident. I know. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, the thing jumped pretty decent. She wasn't the most powerful after we kind of wrecked it there, but that's fine. The airbags went off in the air, some roll assist and uh, whatnot. And uh, yeah, the old computer didn't, uh, didn't work too well when it shorted out against the battery, but we should be able to get her going again. So this whole front wheel's all dinged up pretty well. It's got some nice tires on it. I was gonna say they had, it was nice. Like the inside was nice. The oh, it was nice. super nice on the inside. So. Not anymore. Well, if anyone wants a seat out of it or anything. I took off all the doors. If anyone wants the doors, hood, or hatch, they're sitting over there by the Cadillac, so they're all pretty good. This thing was uh, definitely taken care of, so. Anyways, let's uh, grab the Yankum rope and uh, give her a yank. yank. Yank her out of here. The old Yankum rope. This thing is quite handy. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, where's the, uh, where's the other end? Oh, did the thing fall off? Apparently it did. A little info tag wherever it went, but anyways, this is a, I believe, the eighteen thousand pounds. Oh, it's right here. Oh, she just got sucked inside. Oh, there it's it is. There. Yeah, it's a little beat up. Nineteen thousand pounds, thirty foot rope. So there is a discount code below and a link if you guys want to check them out. They also have, you know, hundred thousand pound ropes, ten thousand pound ropes. Definitely highly recommended and super stretchy. So let's hook her to the front. Do they make? Synthetic ropes for side-by-side -side winches? Mm, I don't think so, but maybe. Hmm. That would be maybe, good. you never Can you know. imagine this for a winch rope? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stretchy. They good. also have soft shackles too, so these oh, are yeah. uh, these are 8,700 pound soft shackles. So. Those are nice even for side-by-sides because you can hook it from anywhere. Yeah, you right? just hook on to anything. This one got a little beat up when we rolled the car last, but she still worked yeah, good. They would come really in handy. All right, let's. Uh, so we're gonna blow the Equinox up with Coke. We drain the oil out and put some, put some Coke in there. Mentos See where we end up. Some Mentos, Mentos yeah. All right, let's see if this Ford has it. She's locked in park. We can't get it out of park. 
Oh well. It'll slide just fine. Better get out of the way here. Oh yeah. Oh, that front wheel is falling off. I'm not running, he wants me to run, but I'm not running, I'm just zooming in. All right, let's go see. I know, the front tire just did not wanna, doesn't wanna let go. Okay, let's see. Oh, your hitch. All right. Okay, you're it. All right. Let's try to blow this thing up. Okay. Give her. Yeah, you're good. It should be good. Just on the edge, eh? Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. And this rope is unreal. Oh, well, you see how easy I just pulled it out of there? <laughs> it's amazing. Just throw it in the floor, turn the diff on. Now I can freaking tight rope it. The only rule, make sure there's no knots. No knots. Before yeah. you yank. One time we yanked super hard and uh, it was all in a ball in the back of my truck and there was a, it somehow got tied in into a pretzel and when I yanked it, she got a full knot, but uh, it didn't affect the performance or anything, but we just had a, a giant knot in it, so. Oh. Draining lots of water out of it. Oh yeah. We had a big rainstorm this morning. There's so a, just full of water. the whole dry, what was it, the exhaust? Oh yeah, unfortunately right they cut the cat off uh, when I bought it. Oh. I bought it, so, but whatever, I got it for a better price. No. Can you get to the oil pan? Yeah. 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 I can see it under there. So obviously I'm not going to crawl underneath this. I'm going to tip it up a little higher and then just reach under. Pop the oil plug. The oil into the bin there. So. Yeah. We don't put anything on the ground. No. Keep her clean. Keep just her water. Clean. Water's fine. Just water. And we'll burn the oil later. <laughs> put it in the air, not the ground. <laughs> right. All right. Let's uh, we'll grab some tools and. Get her done. Okay. This is how a real adapter works. You go from the half inch to the tiny look. Oh my god. Uh, Big dog. Yeah. Hey, that's all. Well, that's all you use. Rip the nuts off a transport truck. <laughs> look. For sure. Look how. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's awesome. So funny. All right, let's figure out what size we need here. Okay. Go this side. This thing's on quite the angle. The trailer hitch is. Uh, I think took a beating. Wow. Okay, so we'll get the, the oil out. Yeah, she was all wheel drive. I don't know if it still is, but. Oh, yeah. Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah, black gold. Here's a drain plug. Gone. <laughs> don't need that anymore. Yeah. It actually, it works really good. Yeah. Hold the, for the impact. Right in the bucket. And Obviously, it doesn't take much to uh, pull those bolts out, but I've had a few that are just rusted right on there. So I like to use the big impact. You need the big dog, just in case. Yeah. So let's grab that uh, cola. And hopefully it still starts. I don't even know if it still starts. It was running when we shut it down. So Should be good. We'll just wait for this to drain out for another minute and get to go. We'll get her going. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna try to start it on an angle. We're gonna mimic what Marcus did. I'm pretty sure he grounded the computer to the battery. Oh yeah. I should have listened more when he was doing it. Yeah. Just a tight spot in there. There it is. Uh, all right, our oil. Let's just do it up on an angle. Why not? Okay, we can try it. You want to see if it starts first? Or right. do you want to just pour it in just in case it does start? Well, pour it in as you're going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can okay, get, okay, okay, get okay. in this thing with the airbag. Oh, 
Oh, it's all wet. That's what she said. I like it. Okay. Oh. All right, I'm in. Nothing. Oh, we got something. All right, you ready? I don't think it actually. No way. Yeah. I'll take the cam for you. Uh, you might have to put it in drive. I don't think it'll drive anywhere. Uh, you gotta put it in drive, it's way better. See if it moves. Yeah, everything. Alright, hey, you ready? Wide open, Jay! That didn't even sound like it seized up. Try and start it again. Put it in park. Might just have to put it back to flat, eh? Uh, we got no oil in there, so. Oh, no, we got Coca-Cola. We just flushed it with Coke. <laughs> I'm thinking just the gas may not be able to get to it. Okay, let's go flat and try again. All right, let me, uh, let's put her flat here. Ooh, <laughs> Easy. Buddy. All right, let's make her level here, see if we can pop this engine. Good? Yep. <clears throat> Flop. All right, Jay, let's try again. See we got. I think she'll start. Oh. crazy how long they'll run with no oil well yeah definitely well, like the hondas and uh it seems like the smaller cars like the little cavaliers the saturns uh the fords like some of them will just go forever i know some guys were saying we should puncture the rad and then uh do it but i like doing the oil better seems like when you do the rad it just overheats and shuts off yeah too many safeties these days <sighs> but uh yeah we got a little smoke coming out hopefully no fires Smells like burnt Coca-Cola. Yeah, actually, yes. Yeah, That's a good ad placement for Coca-Cola. That's what it smells like. Oh Don't my God. run your cars on Coca-Cola. It's not good for you. It's not oh, good for your... That's really a Canadian way to say it. Coca-Cola. It's not good for your teeth, Brad. Yeah. Bad for it. I don't even drink pop. I still got a cavity this year. <laughs> Horse yet. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed Jay's uh, new lift kit on his truck. We'll have the rims on there hopefully within the next two weeks. Yeah. And uh, glad we could pop this thing, get one more video out of it. So if anyone wants the doors or hatch or anything, they're right there. I'll sell them to you. They're right nice over. Hold on, hold on. That means, oh, oh, look at those. They're brand new. <laughs> All right. Uh, but for now, we're going to wrap this one up, see if we can get some more vehicles. If you guys have any vehicles, you want to bring them down, just shoot me an email or a DM. Usually email because I don't really see many DMs. There's so many thousands of them, so. Get yourself a Yankum rope, pick yourself up a drone, check out the links below. There's tons of discount codes for anything you need. Make sure you follow Jay on the Instagram. I'm on there somewhere. I got tons of DMs too, so just bear with me. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty famous. Razor, <laughs> razor blade over here. So 
And yeah, don't buy yourself an Equinox because they will grenade if you put Coca-Cola in them. Anyways, have a fantastic night. We'll see you later.